2022, I mean 2021 shit. So you know what I'm saying? Be on the lookout for that King of the Night Part Two, but it's different though. My name is King Slim. Mm-hmm. I hope everybody having a blessed day, man. I've been hitting that park solo, trying to get my motherfucking shit together. Cause I've been getting fat, and I'm trying to shake that shit. And it ain't easy, cause yesterday I had donuts, cookies, grilled cheese sandwiches. This food, a motherfucker, man. That food is the hardest fight, man. When you trying to lose weight, the food is the hardest fight for me. I do the work. I go to the gym. I go to the park. I put in all the work, but I'm going to fuck it up as soon as I leave. That's my issue, man. But we working on that now. By the first, I should have it figured out, though. We ain't going to wait till the first to get better. We're going to keep working. And hopefully, I have it figured out by the first. I'm trying to get a head start by you motherfuckers saying, new year, new me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we doing. Yesterday, I went to this restaurant. After I left the park, I had some fucking Parmesan, chicken Parmesan pasta. Look at my story. That shit was so good. It was good to the motherfucker. And then, I, um... After that, I fuck around and for dessert, I had potted donuts. Potted donuts. Like you be having the hostess pack, but them hoes hot and you dip them in some chocolate. Oh man, that shit hit. Oh man. That's the type of shit I do after I run three miles. So I'm very counterproductive, I would say. But live life, man. Life short, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to take care of yourself. But you gotta live life to the fullest. We all see how short life is around this bitch. America is ghetto, like I always say. So you know what I'm saying? What y'all up to though, man? Now I got my shit from uh, this spot called Copa that was in Norfolk today. Drink protein drinks instead of stuffing your hog mouth. That sound weird, kid, what the fuck? I drink a shake every once in a while, my nigga, but yeah, America is the ghetto, man, it's crazy, like, how motherfuckers are just getting shot every day, it's like, we ain't even, it ain't even a big deal no more, man, it's crazy how now, I be thinking about it like, man, when Pac them died, it was so much of a big deal, it was so rare, you hear a rapper getting killed, like, you know, Pac, Biggie, it was like, damn, Niggas get shot all the time nowadays. Niggas die all the time. It is crazy. America is the ghetto. Everything is ghetto now, if you think about it. We used to think, man, let's go to Miami. Let's go to Miami, man. They wouldn't let you in the clubs. The uh, South Beach, you couldn't get in the club. I remember a nigga told me. I had a grill I couldn't get in. Nigga say, you can't get in, you got a grill. I was like, what the fuck, nigga? Now looking back at them pictures, how big my shirt was, I see why he was tripping. <laughs> nigga had a five X. Nigga had a button up, but that was about five X. <laughs> oh, man. I was. I remember that nigga name, whole ass Manny. That bitch ass nigga used to give me hell in Miami. Oh, man. I used to be like, this bitch ass nigga hate now I look back at them th throwback bitches, I'll be like, man, nigga had that big ass 6 x Just cause it was buttoned up, nigga thought he was, nigga, I've been dressed cold like a motherfucker. Motherfucking 44 in jeans, wow, well, really, wow, well, 38. Oh, man, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? I'm upscaled in a bitch. <laughs> a fat form motherfucking shirt. I don't even remember what it was at that time, what it was, um. Uh, what the fuck we used to wear at this? I don't even know, but nigga thought he was a dress code like a motherfucker, bagging in the bitch. He's a, I made a song about that hoe ass, and I was like, fuck, man, he got, he got a song called Fuck You. I gave him a fuck you in that bitch. I used to be mad. Yeah, but South Beach used to be a place of, you know, you couldn't get in everything, man. Now all that shit just ghetto as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I used to go to South Beach and see motherfuckers from all around the world, meet a bitch from Russia, a bitch. I had bitches from all over the world out there. I was like, damn. 
Now them hoes, local in the motherfucker, them hoes from Pensacola. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the corona that they not letting everybody in this motherfucker no more, but the world is a ghetto. In the words of, uh, oh, uh, this is ghetto boy. Now, you used to say, remember back in the day, nigga be like, I ain't gonna lie, man. They used to be like, man, I'ma leave my city. I'ma go ahead and go to Hollywood. Fuck it. I'm finna make it big. I'm finna be a singer. I'm going to Hollywood. Niggas is getting robbed in restaurants in Hollywood now. You can't even go to Hollywood. Like that was the Beverly Hill Billy's thing, man. Let's go to Hollywood. We gon' nigga get robbed in the motherfucking restaurant in LA and Hollywood now. What the fuck? America is the ghetto, man. We can't go to Chicago, we can't go to Atlanta, we can't go nowhere. Where you can go, you can't go nowhere trying to escape the ghetto because the ghetto is everywhere if you think about it now. You can't say, man, I'm moving up. I ain't gonna stay up and go away from this shit. Nowhere is safe. <laughs> Nigga, you will get robbed or shot anywhere in the USA. It's crazy, man. Think about that for a minute. We used to be having escape routes. We used to be like, man, yeah, when we blow up, we gonna do this. We gonna go here. Nigga, you will, in, in, the, in Houston, you will be like, you know, I'm finna get out the mother, we made it out the hood. I got my money right, I'm a millionaire now, nigga. Niggas will rob you at motherfucking Eddie V's, nigga, in the middle of the River Oaks. They don't give a fuck. You will get shot in the Galleria Mile itself. That shit is crazy, man. You never would have thought this shit would be. But, like I say, America is the ghetto. <laughs> Boys get robbed of Mr. Childs. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You can't. And then you used to see motherfuckers out, like, random, like, in Miami. You'll see uh, anybody out. You'll see Pharrell. You'll see anybody out. You ain't seeing nobody on South Beach no more. That shit, like, nobody going nowhere no more, man. This shit is crazy. The world is a ghetto, man. Well, not even the world. I'm saying the world. It's America. It's America. That's why niggas always out the country. Because it ain't like that over there. I just went on a trip in Europe for about two weeks. And I ain't feel like I was going to die. Nowhere I went. I ain't feel like my life was in danger. Nowhere I went. Niggas might get in the fight. I hear niggas in London be robbing niggas or whatever, but niggas don't be getting bodies like over here. Niggas ain't dying. You look at the news, that shit like Grand Theft Auto. Uh, five people shot. Mother, his son kills the whole family. You look at that shit, it look like a fucking horror movie out here, man. When I was over there, the worst thing was gonna happen, a nigga was gonna cuss you out on a scooter, man, and say, fuck you or something. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy, man. This shit crazy, man. I never thought America would be the ghetto like this. And then, so while I'm overseas, right? So I'm like, damn, this shit feel weird. It don't feel dangerous at all. So I'm like, damn. So I Google who got the murder, number one murder rate in, a, in the world. Guess who got it? America. Google, who got the number one rape uh, in the world? America. You think it's these foreign countries, them third world motherfuckers? It's America, nigga. America is the ghetto. We ghetto as fuck, and I ain't even realize it till now, you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. We see all that crazy shit on these videos. I be looking at them little gore sites and shit where niggas be slaughtering motherfuckers. Real, not realizing we worse than them motherfuckers. They might do that shit, but that's to them niggas who turn their back on them snitches and shit like that. We do that shit every day to random innocent motherfuckers. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So shit is like, I don't know what to say, dude. It's just like, you just got to realize America's a ghetto. I did all this. I done turned to these people's neighborhood, hit blocks, drive over speed bumps, all to avoid the fucking water that was in the road because I ain't want to fuck up my wash. Yeah, big trucks is expensive to wash. So fuck that. Fuck that. 
I went out through these people's neighborhood just to avoid a fucking um, puddle of water in the middle of the street. Shit crazy. I like this house right here. It's for sale, but they want too much for that bitch. I think they want like four million for that bitch. That bitch all right, but it ain't worth no four million. That bitch all right. I moved a fucking, uh, where the fuck Drake live? Look, that's the water spot I avoided. That shit down there. I did all that to avoid that water spot. Yeah, fuck y'all and fuck that wash. You got me fucked up. That shit expensive to wash these big ass trucks. Four million, I'll go somewhere and uh, I don't know. It ain't going, not right here, but all this gangster shit going on. America is Havistock now. Wow, we used to look at Havistock like, wow, it's fucked up over there. It's fucked up like Havistock everywhere now. God damn. God damn. Yeah, I wasn't finna let my truck get dirty for that shit. Nah, I don't give a fuck what y'all call me. Cheap, whatever. It's cool. I'm still clean. How about that? How about that? And then you'd think four million is a lot, right? So I call myself. I say, fuck it, Slim. Get you some, man. You live it. You, you could be really living in something real crazy, man. Look up. So I'm looking at the four, five million houses, seeing what I see. Them hoes look so regular. A four million dollar house in Houston right now looks so regular. That bitch do not look like it's four million dollars. Like it's like, uh, you know what? It's like that shit just add up fast. It's like as soon as you get past one million, they could just go crazy with the millions. Cause it seemed like one million dollars can get you should get you a nice size house, but two million dollars don't get you double the size of that house. It just gets you, you know, a few more amenities. It seemed like, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like once they get over a million, they just start jumping hundred thousands a lot. Like, yeah, I don't get what the fuck I'm saying, but I get what I'm saying. But yeah, man. So yeah, that bitch would be one million, then it'll jump to five million for a house, and that bitch ten thousand square feet too. How much more did you do to this motherfucker? Like, you know what I'm saying? For that bitch to jump four billion, I can understand a couple hundred thousand. Like, okay, we did this. What is four million dollars worth in this ten thousand? What you put four million? How did four million get in this ten thousand square feet, and this other house is ten thousand square feet for a million? That's why I get confused at. Okay, Marvel, I see you, but not that much. A few hundred thousand, but you know what I'm saying? It seems like them, them relatives, they just go crazy. Once that bitch get over a million, they just start throwing them other ones on there. Like, fuck it. Fuck it, let's say 10. Like, God damn. It would be like, so I'd be like, man, I spent four million on the house, but when I see what four million gets you, it would be like, nah, fuck that. I'd rather stay at my one million, um, 10,000 square feet. They pay four million for ten thousand square feet. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? That light bulb is not that fly. Real life, kid. You know what I'm saying? I be if you check, watch that shit though. When you look, go on hard har.com and just look up these houses and see what I'm saying, man. Like them hoes get to going crazy. Like they get to jumping millions. Like what the fuck else you adding to this hoe? That bitch got to have an escalator, all kind of shit. Like, how much is an escalator? And you ain't got one, and I got to pay three extra million for something? I'm going to just work with this 10,000 square feet and make this motherfucker as cool as I can make it, man. Because it's crazy. Like, yeah. Think about that, though, man. When y'all look at that shit, man. Them hoes get to getting excited and just start throwing millions on that shit. It ain't that much, you know, I guess because I'm in construction and I be really pulling up to these places. You can't fit the, you can't fit that much money in that motherfucker. What is you doing? I don't even like that much shit at Best Buy to be that electronical, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is you, what? You just got to be buying dumb shit. They got to be over, hella overcharging you for the same fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? No way. It's going to get like that, man. All right, boss. Parks at the park, friend. Yeah, man. So that's where it's at with me. See, I fucked up. Like I got hype. I was like, man, 
I got this nice house. My crib paid out though. And I can, I get a good ink. I can afford to pay for some fly. Let me go turn up, sell this, get some more live in the, you get the looking. Them all want 4 million for the same shit. I got more yard than them. They'll want 3 million for some shit and your neighbors can hear you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like what? In Houston, like this bitch is opportunity world or some shit. Like what? What the fuck happened? Like how did this shit turn into that? Like, you know? I'd be like, God damn. So I said, you know what? I'm going to stay on my little shit I got and I can just do whatever the fuck I want to do right here. I can make my shit turn into Bill Gates Mansion if I want to. I'll let with a million dollars, nigga. I can, I'm going to show you what I can do with a million dollars versus give it to you motherfuckers. I'm going to go order some shit my own self. Show you what that million do. Yeah, but that's what I come up with. You know what I'm saying? Because them motherfuckers get to getting happy and going crazy fast. Park this big-ass motherfucker, man. It's a big-ass truck, boy. Fuck. We in the line. We good. Fuck it. We out. We out. But yeah, man, that's what I come up with. Niggas trying to upgrade. I've been trying to spend money, like, figure it out. Like, what can I do? What can I... That shit ain't... Nothing been making sense right now. Everything is just sale time. It ain't about time for nothing. Sale time. Ooh. Look how big this truck is. Y'all yeah, know I'm 6v6, right? So look at that motherfucker. Look at that bitch. What's up, boss? What's up, man? How you doing? If I get a picture of you and my dog. Let's get it. I've seen you here a few times. Two. Ready, set. You got it? Appreciate it, bro. All right, boss. Have a good one. You have a good one. You running? I'm about to get it in. All right, enjoy. Yeah. See, big body truck. Yeah, man, I'm finna get this work in, man. I fuck with y'all, man. What's up, boss? You good? Oh, shit, I see y'all here. You all right? It's all right. You been getting it in? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, boys out here putting in that work. I like to see that. Yes, sir. All right, man, I fuck with y'all. Y'all have a good day, man. I just got a spark to the park, and it worked. Turn this shit off. I was turning this shit off.